Hello everybody, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Island video. Today we are going to be racing against Cinnamon here and then she has a channel Cinnamon Vanilla where we will also be doing another part of this so be sure to check out her channel when we are finished. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing five races in Wild Horse Islands and we are each going to be picking a different horse for each race and you can't reuse the horse. And then the winner after uh, whoever's won the most races after five rounds will be the winner um so this is going to be a ton of fun and i'm so excited that cinnamon is joining me here for this so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so we're also going to be alternating who is picking what race so i'm going to be picking first and i think we're going to do the cross country race since that is one of my favorites and i really enjoy doing it so let's go ahead and head on over there Okay, so I'm going to be using Flurry for the first race, and then Cinnamon is going to be using Lucky, because um, Flurry is my fastest horse. She has the best speed stat. Um, I'll probably use Caramel next round, but I'm not quite sure. But anyways, here we go. We're going to go ahead and race. Alrighty, so I sped this part up for you guys, but Flurry was, in fact, taking the lead here. I usually use her for short distance races now because she does have the best speed stat out of all of my horses. She is OG stat, um, so she can go very quick, especially on Roleplay Island where there is no stamina. Alright, so I went ahead and finished with a time of 59 seconds, or 59.663, and then here comes Cinnamon on Lucky, um, but this was a pretty good race, so the score is now 1-2-0. And then Cinnamon's time was 1 minute four and 14.312 seconds, so now she is going to pick the next race that we are going to go to. So for the next race, Cinnamon chooses the racing tracks. The race tracks is a fun one. I personally really enjoy that one. So let's go ahead and head over. Oh, this is the steeplechase. We want the race track. Okay, so now we need to pick another horse. So for this, I hmm, what horse should I use? I think that I will go ahead and use we'll use Wisteria. She was good to me on this before. But let me go ahead and grab some tack. I'm going to be redoing Wisteria's tack set at one point, but I didn't quite get around to it yet. But anyways, Cinnamon chose Bloody Moon for her horse. And then, so this is Cinnamon's here horse. I really like the tech on this um, with the little devil horns there. I think that is very cute. So anyways, let's go ahead and do this race. Okay, so I sped up this part once again, even though this race was relatively short. But Cinnamon and I were both relatively close during this race, considering we both had thoroughbreds, which are fast horses. Alright, so that was a close one. I completed the race with a time of 23 seconds, uh, 23.748 seconds, and Cinnamon did 23.931. So I won by like 0.2 seconds, which is crazy. Very, very close, but that was a good race, and I need to choose the next one now. Um, since we're here, I think we can do steeplechase, so that is what I will pick. And then the score is now 2-0. to zero. Okay, let's see. What horse should I do now? I think I'm going to go ahead and do Meringue. She is a pretty good one. Oh, Microwave. Let's see what horse Microwave is. Oh, it's a Skeleton Arabian. That is so pretty. And I love the dye on your horse. Oh my gosh, I sound like a Pokemon trainer. Pikachu, I choose you. I was literally just about to say that, Cinnamon. I was just about to type that in the chat that we sound like Pokemon trainers. And then I sped this part up again for you guys, but it looks like they redid the little bushes that you jump over there along with the graphics update. So that looks cool. Another close one I completed with a time of 26.131 and Cinnamon completed the time with uh, 26.348, so really close once again. And yes, that was indeed a very close call there. The score is now 3-2-0. Okay, so the next one, Cinnamon knows where it is, but she forgot the name, and that is A-OK. -okay. I totally understand that. Okay, so the next one is the reverse cross-country race. I actually didn't even realize that this race existed, so I guess you do it backwards, which is pretty cool. 
thought it had a different name. Oh my gosh, no worries, that's fine. Okay, so now we need to choose another horse. And I think for this one, let's get in a different breed here. So I think that I will go ahead and go with Tangerine for this one. Okay, so this is her horse, Competitive. Cute. So creative with names over here. Oh my gosh, yes you are. So creative indeed. We love that. We, we love your name. I don't think I'm going to win this one because I picked a Frisian, but you know what? It is okay. <laughs> Microwave competitive. What next? Meatloaf? Oh my gosh. For real. We, we love your names though. I, I personally love them. I need to get more creative sped this part up but i need to start naming my horses more crazy things like meatloaf how cinnamon was saying because i feel like my names are all like regular names or like kind of basic names like tangerine i named this horse tangerine because she's all orange and reminded me of a tangerine so i mean which is fine but i need to include some of those crazy names too like potato or something how cute would it be to have a horse named potato Yes, good game. Um, so Cinnamon completed the race with a time of 105.297 and I completed it with a time of 115.645. So that was a good race indeed. Tangerine, you did a good job, girl. Okay, so it is final race. The score is 3, 2, 1, and then we have one more. Um, so I think I'm going to go with the trail ride race because I personally uh, think that one's pretty cool and it's kind of longer as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and head on over to the thing. Yeah, it's really a struggle remembering these names, you know, guys? Like, if you ask me to tell you, like, what what is this one? I don't even know. Okay. Yeah, it was trail ride. We were good. We were good. And then for our final race, I think that we are going to use Carmel since, you know, she is our horse with the best stats. She has really good stamina. She has 85 plus 3 speed, so. Oh, and that's such a pretty horse. Wait, I love that. And then the little boots that match that. That is so cute. Carol. That is a perfect name for that horse as well. I feel like this plaid pattern just always reminds me of, like, Christmas and Carol and stuff like that. Um, and then I'm going with Carmel here. All right, so we've got the race starting. I think I have a horse named Pinecone that has like the same tack, or if not the same, like similar. Sped this part up once again. But yeah, I do have a horse that has similar tack like that, along with the Pinecone aura and the plaid, red-green plaid accessories named Pinecone. So that's funny that the Pinecone aura and that both work together for both of our horses, which is pretty cool. I really like the trail ride race, how it's like longer and stuff. It's just a fun one to do. Trail ride and cross country, I would say, are my top two favorite races. Alright, and I finished with a time of 126.761 there, so that was a good race. I'm not sure where Cinnamon is. Oh, there she is. She's coming. She's coming. She's on her way there. And here comes Carol flying in. Good game, good game. And then Cinnamon finished the trail ride race with a time of 1 minute 47 seconds, or 47.5 five nine four seconds so that gives us our final score of four to one so that means that i win <laughs> i mean cinnamon did a very good job as well a couple of the races were actually quite close um so yeah this was really really fun to do thank you so much cinnamon for joining me here i'm so happy um to do a collab with you be sure to check out Cinnamon's channel, Cinnamon Vanilla. She posts a wide variety of amazing Wild Horse Island content that I highly recommend you see. And then we also have another part of racing if you would like to check that out as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it and I hope that you ha all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.